Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make a proximity prompt to teleport you to a new uh, place in Roblox Studio. So, to get started, we are going to, well first of all, you'll see that I've created a little part here, I don't really know what it's meant to be, but I'm going to anchor it. It's just a little like, block, and I've added a proximity prompt to it. Now first of all, we're going to have to create a new place that the player can be teleported to, so to do that, we will click View, Asset Manager, uh, and then under you want places double click that right click and click add new place This will then create a new place and with a new place number. I'm going to right click and rename this to uh, New place or anything just call it whatever you'd like and I'm going to right click and copy ID to clipboard Once we've done that we can close the asset manager and under our part with the proximity prompt We want to add a script now in here what we're going to do is create a local variable called target underscore place underscore ID and we're going to set that to the ID of our place. Now above this we want to um, get two services. First of all we want to get the local players service which will be equal to game code on get service players because of course we want the players and we also want to get the teleport service so local teleport service will be equal to game colon get service teleport service next we're going to drop down a couple of lines and we need to uh, get the well we need to call a function um, when the proximity pr prompt is clicked which will effectively teleport the player so first of all let's get local part equals script dot parent because the part is the so the part is this and we want to set that to script.parent because that's what the part is okay now let's call a function um, whenever they click whenever they use the proximity prompt so we'll say part.proximity prompt dot triggered colon connect function and we can we can actually pass in the player in here because when the dot triggered event on a proximity prompt is called um, the player is passed in the player that clicked it is passed in which is very useful because this will allow us to choose what player to teleport so in here we need to say teleport service colon teleport async so that the uh, is synchronized if you want more detail you can kind of read here um, and we want to pass in the target place ID we want to pass in the player because that is the player we want to teleport and what this will do is we'll teleport the player. Now what I'm going to do is before we do this, I'm going to add a wait, maybe half a second before we do teleport them. And what this code will do, when the proximity prompt is clicked, it will teleport the player to the target place. Now we need to hit file and publish to Roblox because we can't actually test this in Roblox Studio. We have to test this in the main experience. Okay, so I've joined my actual experience in Roblox. You'll see we've got this uh, button over here with the proximity prompt that I hope works I'm not sure if I've set it up correctly but when we click E so let's go over to it we can interact when we click E it should teleport us to the new experience which will just be a default base plate because I've not changed anything on the experience so let's hold E to interact or click press it and nothing's actually happening so let's figure out what's going on so what you can do is if it's not working you can hit F9 and under um, log and server, you'll see we get some errors. Unable to cast value to objects. Okay, now I believe the reason for this is because uh, when you're teleporting players, it expects a table and a, yeah, here you are, an array of players to teleport. And we're just passing in a single object. It wants multiple or at least an array of them. So to create an array or slash table of players, we're just going to put these uh, curly braces, I call them around the player and this will uh, tablify if you will it will uh, make it an array of the player instance so just put these around it to basically turn that player object into an array um, even if you're only passing in one player because you can teleport multiple players you can put player one player two etc if you have multiple players um, but we just want to teleport one player so you just put these curly braces to turn it into an array of just one player. Also what I will quickly mention is if you want to uh, actually edit your second uh, place, you can go under the asset manager right, um, and you can double click the new place and it will open it up in studio where you will be able to edit it. Anyway, let's go back to uh, file and publish to Roblox where we'll now go test this again. 
Okay, so here we are, we're back in, uh, and this time hopefully when we uh, click this prompt, it will teleport us to this new place. So just click E, uh, attempt to teleport to a place that is restricted. Okay, now something I actually forgot to do, uh, this is my fault, we need to go under game settings, uh, under security, and we need to allow third party teleports and hit save and this will now make it so we can uh, teleport across places so that's it file published to roblox again hopefully for the last time okay so a couple of important things to note make sure your game is completely public um that's the only way you can test this if your game's public otherwise you'll get an error saying that you can't teleport because it's restricted um also make sure you own the place you're trying to teleport to and and make sure you have migrated the game to the latest update if you're having trouble. So I'm going to click interact now. So it's saying to me that there's a, an error attempted to teleport to a place that's restricted. The game's public. Uh, it might just be the case that Roblox is taking a little while to process this new place. Um, if I was to come back maybe in a couple of days time it might work. Uh, so it might just be the case that you have to give it some time for your place to update. But other than that, we know it's working because it is teleporting us. It's actually prompting us that it has failed to teleport us just because the place is restricted. So we know the actual teleportings work. We know we know the whole system works. It's just that my place is currently restricted and I'm just waiting for it to get unrestricted, basically. So I hope you found this video helpful, everyone. This is um, pretty much it. It's as simple as this, really. If you'd like to see a video on how we can teleport people with a GUI so that you click a text button instead of a proximity prompt, let me know and I might make that. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful and goodbye, everyone.